Hello. Welcome to Tales from Collector's Paradise, featuring yours truly, Big Stevie Pump. Anyway, guys, thanks again for uh, joining me on another exciting episode of Tales from Collector's Paradise. This is episode three here, and uh, I'm, you know, just getting started with this thing, so I'm really, you know, having a lot of fun, and I really appreciate everybody's feedback, and a lot of my friends have been texting me and everything, giving me ideas and, and telling me some stuff, and you know, maybe you're a first-time watcher, and you don't even know me at all and know my personality or anything, and hey, I appreciate your views, too. Anybody that's watching this, I appreciate it. I'm just trying to educate the action figure collecting world or just... You know, anybody that wants to watch this for whatever your reason is, thanks for tuning in. Uh, anyway, today, uh, if you'll notice here, uh, just over my shoulder, I got a little Easter egg there. And that is a poster, obviously, a Masters of the Universe poster, an old school one. And it's reverse image. Sorry about that. And I'm trying to work with production on that, getting some of these things squared away. These are the types of things I'm talking about that, you know, just it's not going to continue to be tolerated on Tales from Collector's Paradise. I'll tell you that right now. But anyway, for the time being, we're going to tolerate it because, you know, doing the best we can. So, but got this reverse image master of the universe poster and that's what we're going to touch on today is we're you know in, in a previous episode uh, episode one the most watched episode of all time i might add uh we actually touched on these and we showed an opening of uh series two of the masters of the ww universe line the mattel line and so today i didn't really do it you know, I feel like a fair job of giving that enough time because how awesome they are. I really dig these and that's why I want to go ahead and delve into them. And, you know, maybe I won't talk about them for a while since they'll have been covered in, you know, a couple of episodes early on. But I'm going to show, uh, I'm going to show series one, uh, the complete series one. And, uh, then also I'm going to, I'm going to show them closed. And then I've already showed the previous ones open, uh, series two. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all 10 of them open that will be after this, you know, after we finish this today and, uh, kind of review them all a little bit and let you get a little bit deeper look and a better look on these figures. Plus I got a feeling there's going to be a few surprise cameo appearances by a couple other action figures that I don't know, guys may get a little touch and go here. We'll find out. And there it is. The Masters of the WWE Universe Grayskull Mania Ring. No, not the $20 version. The $30 version. The one that comes with the exclusive. John Cena. The most unseeable man in the universe. And Triple H. Terra Claus Triple H evil skull king of kings so anyway uh pretty cool this ring is a walmart exclusive and this is like i said 30 bucks there is a 20 dollar version of the ring that's you know like that um so anyway uh, these are supposed to be out around christmas time and uh they didn't really seem to hit at Christmas time and I was worried I wasn't going to get them. And anyway, my son actually found this for me right before Christmas. And like I said, it's 30 bucks at Walmart. And he, uh, called me up and he's like, dad, you know, with a picture of this, he's like, is this rare? I said, holy crap. You know? Yeah. I've been looking for that. And I pay out him over 30 bucks and, uh, he bought me the ring. And what's funny, he wrapped it for me for Christmas, even though uh, I already knew that it was coming. And, uh, but that's still fun to open. Anyway, a really cool thing. And I liked it so much. I bought two of them because a few weeks later, I actually found one on my own, just walking and there it was laying on the shelf. So I hooked. Now I'm going to tell you a little lesson about in collecting in just in a moment. And there you get a glance of the triple H. And so we'll just go ahead and reveal these real quick. Here's a triple H. This is series one. Ultimate Warrior. Pan back over, get another glance of the ring. And there's Sting. Pretty cool. And Finn Balor. Now, there's actually two versions of these. And like kind of where my finger's at, uh, the th my thumb's at. On the other one, uh, there's another package of these that it actually says something similar to where it says, you know, down below the evil skull, you know, king of kings or whatever. They have some sort of little writing on them. And I've seen pictures on the Internet of these other packagings. Now, both sets of these that I got have the exact same markings or whatever. So I didn't, you know, think they're rare and if they're rare or whatever. I just went for it. I wanted to open them. And so I did. So I'm going to show you that here in just in a moment. And then, and then we're going to also show uh, you know, series two as well. But, uh, anyway, the packaging's pretty cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and spin trip, uh, ultimate warrior around there and 
you can kind of see what the back looks like, the artwork. Okay, we'll go ahead and do the same with Triple H. Pull him up here. And pretty, pretty cool figure. And like I said, we'll get into seeing, I guess, more close-ups of the figures here in a moment. I just wanted you to see the artwork on the package. And let's see Finn Balor. Pretty cool figure, the Finn. And, you know, like I said, it's kind of, they're kind of cool for what they are. The Sting. I really dig the sting and you know I'll get into some more things with that here in just in a little bit. Why why I like it so much, one reason I like it so much. But anyway, uh these were Walmart exclusive series one and I found them uh and I was real happy to get them and like I said I'm gonna show you here I'm opening here in just a moment. Hang tight. All right, and here we go. You're looking at the John Cena and the Triple H uh, from the ring and the ring and the little steps here. I didn't really get into that uh, earlier, but those are kind of cool. You can, uh, it's got the little holes here that you can, uh, you know, put weapons in or whatever, but we'll get that out of the way for a moment. We're just going to drop these guys down now. I just wanted to show those steps real quick before I moved on. So what we've got here is the Terra Claws, you know, or whatever, uh, Triple H. Um, and these come right off. And actually, I'm going to leave those off for a minute anyway, because I want to do something here with the Triple H um, in a moment. But there's the Triple H. And here's the John Cena. And I really like the translucent weapons. Uh, and you'll see why in a minute. I'm actually going to compare it here in just in a little bit. But... I like the posability of these figures and I really like the size and the style. And, you know, like I said, their legs been pretty good. Some of them probably a little bit better than Cena since he's got the shorts on there. But, uh, you know, I like the size of these figures and everything. And, uh, you know, this is the, this is the ring, um, that's $30 and comes with the two figures is pictured in the back. And a quick little story I wanted to tell about this ring is so, I have one motto, one credo uh, that I really, really live by in the collectibles business. And I failed to abide by that motto one day. But anyway, this is a $30 ring and uh, I seen a mark down for 20 bucks one day. And Walmart had got a bunch of them in. Because like I said, at Christmas, these didn't really hit. So they hit after Christmas. And so next thing you know, Walmart's got like 30 of them. Well, they marked them down to like 20 bucks. Well, I'd already bought two of them and, you know, and of course one closed and one open. And I thought, you know, that's, that's a pretty good amount. I don't know that I really need to buy any more, but at 20 bucks a piece, I thought, you know, maybe I should buy another couple more, you know, hold on to them, trade them, sell them, whatever the case may be down the line. But at the, but I didn't buy them. Now, a few days later, I'd mentioned something, you know, to my cousin Davey about going by there. He went by there and, you know, they had them, but then I didn't get him to buy them. I was like, okay, let me, uh, I'll go by there in a few days. Well, a few more days passes and boom, they're all gone. So the moral of the story is in the collectibles business, my motto, my credo, if you don't get it, you won't get it. I repeat, if you don't get it, you won't get it. That's words to live by in the collectibles business. And if you think you should get it, if you're thinking about getting it, if you think you kind of maybe possibly want it, get it. Because if you don't get it, you won't get it. All right. Yeah, uh, You know, I wanted to kind of move the camera around here for a minute anyway. So the ring, you can hear it's you know, kind of hard plastic and you got the ropes and they just go right inside the turnbuckle here. Uh, nothing too fancy, you know, and, uh, you know, you got, like I said, this is kind of a hard plastic and you got the stairs, but you know, it's decent for what it is. Like I said, it's, you know, 30 bucks, but in this case you get the two figures and they're 15 bucks a piece. So you feel like you're getting a ring for free. So anyway, that's enough on these. I'm going to uh, bring out another couple of figures so you can uh, see what's going on here with some of the other guys. All right. Now what we've got here is series one and you got a good shot of sting and Finn Balor there. So I'm going to pan to the left and this is actually the order of you know, the way I like them. Ultimate Warrior, I think in series one, I, I, he's not my favorite figure, 
He's not a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. He's always had vibrant colors and everything, but just not a huge fan of the green and yellow and orange. So it's just whatever. And, you know, I, oh, I like Ultimate Warrior, but but this figure is still worth 15 bucks. Don't get me wrong. It's a great figure. I just think it's the worst of the ones. And then Finn Balor, and he's got, like, the tentacles and everything and the, the armor. And this stuff, you know, will come off like it does, you know, it will pry off. There's, like, a little snap. Um, but... There's Finn, Finn Balor, and he's a great figure. I just, you know, for what it is. Now, Sting, like, look at that Sting. I don't love this accessory right here. I just don't love it. Um, but the Sting itself is really cool. And I'm going to get into some more things in just in a minute with a few of these figures. I just wanted to kind of show them, uh, you know, how they are. And he comes with this little, you know, claw accessory or whatever. And, you know, like I said, for what these are, and then the Triple H. Now, man, I'm going to tell you what. I think it's an odd choice that there's two Triple H's essentially in Series 1, the one with the ring and this one. But, man, I'll tell you what. Is that not an impressive figure? And then the, you know, the, the, the helmet comes off and everything, and so does this. And this big, super oversized sledgehammer. I mean, this is just an impressive figure, and he's in the purple tights there. And, the, and in the cloth cape, I mean, you know, of course, I'm a sucker for that. I'm going to always mention that. So, Mattel, kudos again. Like I said, these figures are made by Mattel. These are, uh, Wave 1 was a Walmart exclusive. And uh, so, they, uh, Series 2, I believe, is going to be uh, potentially available everywhere. I was still trying to get some clarification on that. I've not seen them anywhere but uh, Walmart, but uh, I'm going to show Series 2 in here in just in a moment. But uh, And then i got some news on Series 3 coming up here shortly. But at any rate, I'm, I'm just going to set this kind of back steady. And I'm a big fan of these. I really like this series. I think they've done a really great job. I felt that Series 1 was a must-have. We're going to put Triple H back in the front. I feel that Series 1 was an absolute must-have uh, at 15 bucks a piece. It is what it is. I bought them all twice and the ring, like I said, with the two other figures. And, uh, you know, I just think that these, this line is a very cool line. I'm very pleased with it. I'm really looking forward to the masters of the universe line that's coming out. I'm looking forward to series three of these. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to showcase series two here. And then I got a few more things I want to get into with these figures. All right, and we're back with Series 2. And like I said, I've already done these the other day. I did a, a an opening uh, in a previous episode. I did an opening and, uh, you know, a review of these, kind of a minor review. I didn't really get in there and show them real close, but we're going to start left to right again. This is Series 2. So here's Roman Reigns. And, you know, he comes with this, you know, fist accessory, and that just pops right off. Most of these accessories are relatively easy to get on and off and it just has a hole there in it so i mean you know very easy and i guess he's like a fisto type guy uh, but any rate i really like these even roman reigns for what he is i mean they're good figures i mean they're once again 15 bucks i'm a player i've obviously bought it here's the faker john cena and i misspoke the other day when i was talking about these little uh word life things uh i actually got oops sorry these little word life things i got uh two of them i actually said hands and i actually meant that so i actually got two of them that says life and i think that was an accident so there you go that one says life and that's like what he has on his fist already so anyway i misspoke when i was reviewing this the other day but i really like the translucent look of this john cena and i'm gonna like i said do some more comparisons in just a moment but the Rey Mysterio Jr., I mean, I just can't get over how awesome this figure is. I just really love it. And of this whole line, this is potentially, I don't know, it's one of the top two or three favorites of this whole line. I just think they really nailed it and knocked it out of the park. I just really like the way he looks. I think he's like a Stratos guy, like a high flyer, so it makes a bunch of sense. And then the Randy Macho Man Savage, which is just my personal favorite, probably of the whole line in this, just for the nostalgia factor and uh you know like i said the little man at heart man at arms uh looking helmet macho man at arms comes right off the sunglasses come off and you can actually get this chest uh plate off this armor they got little snaps i'm not going to take it off because it's kind of a pain but uh it does happen and then you can change his chest plate out with these other two little chest plate pieces and you kind of see here like his you know his chest plates all intact it's together 
And then you've got this particular chest plate that's like a little bit shattered. And then you got this particular chest plate that's shattered, but the piece is kind of falling out of it. So, I mean, you know, that's what you got with the Randy Savage, but I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of all these. I'm a big fan of the Ray, the John Cena, and the Roman Reigns. So we're going to set it still here and just kind of focus in on the Savage and the Ray because those are the coolest looking ones. Now, Series 3 is coming, and I was looking at Toy News International, by the way, and that's one of my favorite websites to get a lot of my toy news. They constantly post, so just giving them a shout-out. Um, I get a lot of info from them. They're constantly posting about new stuff coming out, lots of pictures and different cool stuff. Toy News International, give them a check out. Uh, any of you don't already know about them, you probably do. Anyway, uh, they have Series 3. You know, I got this story from them that came out a while ago, but Undertaker's coming out in Series 3 is Scareglow. Braun Strowman is Beast Man, The Rock is He Man, uh, and New Day is Manny Faces. So, anyway, and it's going to be all three of the New Day guys. You spin the head around, it's going to be each different one Xavier, Big E, and uh, Kofi Kingston. So, that's really cool. So, I'm looking forward to Series 3 of these guys. Not sure of exact release date yet, but I imagine another couple of months. Uh, and once again, I think they're going to be available everywhere. But uh, not to keep focusing in on uh, Savage and Ray, we'll get a shot at Roman and John Cena here. But uh, I want to do a couple other things. I just wanted you to really get a close-up look of these guys. Uh, so here's Series 2 once again of the WWE Masters of the Universe Mattel line. Priced at like 15 bucks a piece. Priced to move. I would do it. Uh, I have done it, obviously, so I'm a big fan of these. Uh, pick them up. But yeah, I want to show you a couple other quick things uh, real quick before we go today. Okay, I wanted to start back with the John Cena and the faker John Cena. Now, these are just those little attention to details that I love. Now, look at the how the translucent uh, axe here, battle axe, matches the skin of faker John Cena and even the shield and I mean, this is just one of those little attention to details, you know, his face that just really wows me and where I think Mattel knocked it out of the park. I just, that's the sort of thing that I appreciate. And I would think any collector would appreciate. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of it, but I just really like that. I think that's an outstanding uh, attention to detail and good job. You know, kudos Mattel for that. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What the crap? Original He-Man <laughs> from Mattel. What what is going on here? What is original He-Man doing? Well, folks, I didn't I didn't expect this. I didn't expect such a big celebrity so early into the show uh here on uh Tales from Collector's Paradise featuring Big Stevie Pump. Uh anyway, here it is. Boom. There. He-Man. Okay. Well, I guess he wanted to show up and check out what's going on here. Well, for sizing purposes, they're, you know, pretty much the same size and you got the nostalgia factor. I really like this He-Man. There's the battle axe and everything. I mean, it's literally, you know, pretty much the, the same. So, you know, like I said, the size and everything you got, of course, the shield's a little bit different, but I'm really looking forward to this He-Man line that's coming out. Uh, and I just wanted to bring that out. I wanted to bring the original He-Man out there just so you could see for sizing purposes. And like I said, uh, Mattel's got this new Masters of the Universe line coming out uh, here in a few months. And once it happens, I'm going to get my hands on them and I'm going to put them here on the show. Tales from Collector's Paradise featuring Big Stevie Pump, especially for you guys. I'm going to make it happen. Anyway, uh, big fan of these. I just wanted to bring out the original He-Man so you could see for the sizing. And plus, I wanted to compare the uh, faker John Cena there with the translucent uh, shield and everything. So get a close look there at the original He-Man and John Cena living in a world side by side. Well, look at who decided to rear his ugly head. Yep. Once again, it's ultimate Sean Michaels from Mattel, you know, crashing the party, showing up. So mainly the reason I wanted to show these for comparison, obviously this is the uh, WWE, you know, Masters of the WWE Universe line, and this is their, you know, ultimate line, kind of like their Elite, but this is Mattel's most upscale line. This is like a $30 figure, uh, and this is a $15 figure. But at any rate, uh, I had a few friends request that uh, 
he uh, photo bombed the show again, video bomb it, whatever. So here he is. Now, for comparison, the one I really wanted to show is for the crossover pill factor. And we're going to move this Sean out of the way for just a moment. We're going to bring him back because we're not quite done. So look at this Sean. So this is a Jack specific from 1996. Now, part of what I like about these He-Man figures, the, the He-Man style figures that are out now is just the throwback factor the appeal the vintage factor and i mean when i look at this the bone crunchers or whatever some of the guys you know might not have had a bone cruncher figure so you could work that in you know in the case of like savage or whatever but i wanted to really show this here with the uh Shawn Michaels in the Triple H. And I mean, so the crossover uh, appeal factor of these figures is really great. So just for a moment, I'm going to move this away and I'm going to let Shawn Michaels hijack the video because, all right, just for, uh, you know, craps and giggles or whatever, keep it at PG-13 here. Uh, look at this. This is what they were doing in 1996, folks. 1996, you know, not much real articulation, boom, just a, you know, a few little maneuvers and that's about it. Now, with that being said, I was buying these like wildfire in 1996 because that's the kind of nut I am. Now, this is what they're doing in 2020. So, I mean, the real, you know, kind of pleather, leather chaps, whatever, so on and so forth. So, this is a quite a bit of a different world we're living in, but I just wanted to you know, showcase this Shawn Michaels and the Jacks one and show you what they were doing in 96 and show you what they're doing in 2020. Sorry to let that hijack the show, but it just had to happen for this particular moment. Well, here's Sting again, and now he's up here because a few more guests are showing up. So look, check this out. It's an AWA Remco Ric Flair from 1985 in there with the championship belt and everything, the real cloth robe, 1985. This is what they were doing with these figures. And we're lucky to have a Ric Flair, the world champion here on the show with us today. I mean, woo. Wow. I mean, impressive. I mean, we're getting all the big guests today. We've got He-Man that's made an appearance. I mean, Shawn Michaels, a couple of them have come out. Now we got Flair. So, you know, Flair and Sting here love to live in the same world. And this is part of what I was talking about, about, you know, when I was a kid growing up, I mean, this was the thing. I had the big rubber LJN figures and one day they're going to make an appearance on the show. But, uh, I, this was a guilty pleasure for me. The real line that I loved was the AWA Remco's and you know, I always wanted figures that could live in that world. So when the Jack's bone crunchers come out, I was a big fan because yeah, okay. Now I've got a bunch of, you know, guys for my imaginary federation. Well, anyway, here we got now sting and uh flair. Well, I'm going to bring in another uh, heavy hitter here. I'm going to move flair over for a second. Man, he hates sharing the spotlight with Hogan, and Hogan just straight up just took the spotlight from him. Actually, we got Thunderlips here. So this is a a a, a figure from the Rocky movie, Rocky Three, and uh, these worked very well with the AWA Remco's. And we're going to get this back up and have them share the spotlight. I mean, obviously Hogan's much bigger than Flair, so it makes sense. But uh, and they're the same with the uh, the Sting. He's you know. Hogan's bigger than Sting, so it makes sense. But I always love these, and I use this Thunderlips along in that AWA line. And I was constantly trying to find figures that would work. Well, at some point, just to kind of now we're going to move Hogan out of the way. And wow, you know, thanks, thanks again for Hogan, you know, coming on the show, brother. Anyway, we got Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, another legend. They just keep coming out, man. A lot of legends coming out today. So here's Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And what this is, and once again, the line, they're pretty close. Now, in this case, he's a smidge bigger Steamboat is, but it's close enough to where you can live with it. What that actually is, is uh, WrestlingSuperstore.com come out with a series of figures, like Legends of Professional Wrestling figures, and a few years back, and this was one of them. And I, there again, I bought it because I was so anxious to get it to live in the same world with my, you know, with my Ric Flair and everything. So that's a big thing of mine, the crossover appeal. And we'll just go back to the Flair because it's just so awesome. And uh, 
that's a big deal of mine. And sorry that I let some of these other toys from past toy lines hijack the show and infiltrate the system here. But uh, I just felt that uh, it was important to show the crossover appeal. And that's why part of my reasoning for the value being so high on these figures to me is just the fact that they will interact with, you know, previous lines that I've got lots of figures of. So therefore, these are a major purchase. I think they're awesome. And uh, anyway, that's that. So once again, here's a final look of Series 1 and Series 2 Masters of the WWE Universe by Mattel. The ring and the figures. There's another look at the box in the background, what you can see of it in the Triple H and the Ultimate Warrior. And we will pan over here to the Sting and the Finn Balor. And once again, there's the ring and all 10 figures that have been so far. I'm really a big fan of these. I love these figures and I think they're just awesome. Also, I'd really like to thank all the special guests that could make it out today for this. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Shawn Michaels, uh, another Shawn Michaels, Thunder Lips, you know, played by Hulk Hogan from Rocky Three, Nature Boy Ric Flair from the AWA Remco line, and <laughs> he met himself. I mean, wow. I mean, what do we owe this honor to, folks? Uh, just amazing. I really, uh, I really like what's happening here. I can't believe we're getting all the big celebrities out. Uh, but uh, keep in mind, if you don't get it, you won't get it. I hope you learn from that. Uh, really appreciate you guys coming out with me. Uh, like I said, looking forward to series three of these guys. Looking forward to the regular Master of the Universe uh, line that's coming out with these. A lot of great stuff coming down the line on uh, Tales from Collector's Paradise featuring yours truly, Big Stevie Pump. So anyway, guys, thanks for checking me out. You know, keep liking, subscribing, commenting down below. And all that good stuff, stay safe, and Big Stevie Pump, signing out.